In our last adventure, Eivor met with Eric Loyalskull, a venerable drinker of the fallen Ragnar's Lothbrook. Eric wished to die at the hands of a powerful warrior, and his request was granted. In Ulrikstad, a seat of power for King Harald Fairhair, met with Sigurd and Bossom. There, Gorm, son of Kjoltvia, showed his face again, only protected by the king's peace. Bossom taught Eivor how to blend in, and through that skill, he was able to confront Gorm, though his life was spared for now. Back in the Log House of the King, the meeting of many Jarls took place. King Harald made his designs clear that he would unite the clans of Norway, and it was Sigurd's father who gave up his autonomy, a surprise to his son and Eivor alike. Together, Sigurd and Eivor planned to take all of the willing of their clan to England to forge their own destiny, and that is where we're headed now. But before we dive into our story in England, here are the remaining mysteries left in our homeland. We'll begin with the hunt for a great white elk. Cannot let this abomination live. Oh god. Okay, I did not anticipate having to fight that though. Alright, I've got my bow, which is great. I'm gonna need my bow, I think. Did I hit it? Yep, I got it. That was really good. That's a good attack. Alright, let's get out of here. Come charging me again, Elk of Bloody Peaks. So we are nearly done taking it out. I'm kidding, we've got a long way to go, and it's very frightening. Come back over here, pal. I see you. 179. I got it again. Ha ha ha. 130. My range damage is so high, I think I'll be okay. You know what? Melee time. Enjoy that, pal. What a beautiful creature. I don't know why it's here. I think it's just mad at me because it got stuck here. And it's being a little bit self-conscious about it. But, Eivor has got to leave. Oh, it's nearly done for. Hi there, pal. Oh, I don't know where that shot went. That was a bad call on my part, but it's nearly gone anyway. Oh, it's going crazy. All right, only a few more hits to go. It's doing a little dance for us. Very sweet. Come on now. I did it. <laughs> it even did a little way for us. Nice. Well, I got that one. That gave me more skill points. I've got to be ready for England, you know? I've only got, I believe, like two more mysteries to go. Then I'll have everything done here. What's be happening over here? Or be cursed. I don't want to be cursed. A pestilence poisons this land. I believe you? What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts. Capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone, then? Your ex-wife? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep okay. An eye out. Let's have a look over here. A warning to warlocks. Let it be known that satyr magic in these lands will be the sole dominion of seers and other wise women. If any male, be he boy or man, is found guilty of this unmanly practice, You'll face exile at the very least. Ah. Okay, Harold. I do like to act in defiance of you. You now own lands that should belong to my brother. His father made that choice without him, and that's a problem. Here it is. Okay. Let's go make a decision. To face me finally, or will you continue to harass me from afar? Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There's a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness. But he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. 
He will poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster! To hell with you! Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna help out, sure. I like the warlock. I believe him, too. Ooh, good hit, buddy. Oh, they're both attacking me. I don't think he was trying to hit me intentionally, though. I guess we'll see in a moment. I hit him that time. All right, let's go back in again. Ooh, get stunned, fool. Hold there, you. Men like this are more dangerous than any magic. They kill wisdom. You may claim his belongings. His body, I will give to the land. Stop. No, I do believe him. And not only that, I'm going to defy the king. I'm not here for money. But as someone who's kind of been intertwined with magic, I've made my choice. And it would have been different, I think. Really different if we weren't really exiled. We had no choice. If we stayed, we would have to fight the king. Now what's over here? Sadiq. Sometimes I despair at the blight of ignorance covering this land. I yearn for the warmer climes that worked my thoughts like a farmer's field. Planting seeds of unimagined possibilities, ideas that would find poor soil here. But then I see some old woman, so much like my own dear mother, and am reminded of what my younger self would have given for someone knowledgeable and healing during that distant, dark time. There is so much. He only wanted to help. Which I think is quite clear. Which is why, again, I did save him. Let him dwell here for a time. Alright. We can now leave. Let's go do, I believe, one or two more mysteries. Our last mystery is right over here. Give me the strength to give to you. What are you doing over here, old man? Hopefully I don't frighten him off. That would be bad. And yeah, a little funny. What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work. All gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it, but I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? I can do that. Oh, it's gone. Yep, the gods have it now. Let's keep on going. Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. Okay. Interesting logic there. It's gonna break. A little bit of straw is not gonna help out, but if it gives some peace of mind. It contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black after I put an arrow on the King Sigtid's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. Yeah, it really does, man. You've got talent. Poor old guy. Okay, we've only got a few more to go. What a strange, strange way to take care of, well, you know, your own spiritual life. One more now. That's it. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold for pulling Halfdan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. Yeah, kind of. All right. I'm all done now. You missed a few things. The gods will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives. But it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that. Even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Oh my god. Thor's hammer. That was a shock. By Odin's nards. What a way to go. Okay. Well, we did it. Every mystery. Now to go back to Layla so that we can enter the Animus and finally go to England.
All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. There she is, England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randvi! Taking your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say all. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. Well, they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! We are finally here. We did it. And we're about to land too. We just need to reach a new settlement. It's gonna move on now. I've got a bit further to go and a few more skill points to use as well. Whoa. Look, Look there. At... What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always. They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Zach. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. 
They're all very calm right now, even though we're here. I wouldn't be calm. I would be leaving. I would say, hey. Way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Yeah, very much like that. Okay. I'm here. Here's my gear right now, and I could upgrade a few things, but I also want to see what future gear I'm going to pick up. Put on my bear hat, and I'm going to upgrade to get a few more arrows at least. I mean, that's really universal. I'll need more ore now, which is fine. All right, for skills, I've got to spend a few points too. I've got over here my parry damage. Okay, so whenever I parry attacks, it also deals damage to the attacker. Very cool. Now, let's go over here. Ooh, what new ability can I get if I do a deep dive? Let's have a look now. Emergency aim. So, if I hold down my right mouse button, it'll snap my aim to an enemy as they detect me. Oh, cool. Which means I could kill them. Okay, let's go. Anglo-Saxons, you're about to have a really bad day. Hopefully, I won't be seen, but it could happen. And if it does, I'll kill them. Not a problem. Guards here are vigilant. Are they? Yeah, they probably are. I do see one guy way up there. I'll have to watch out for him. Especially if I want to take out, well, the chains. The here we huge. go. And poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. Yeah. I could absolutely do that. Now, what are you doing? Dying? Okay, cool. He's dead. That was a really good start. Let's go back down. So here's what I'm going to do now. And I've got a different bow. It'll be very good for long range shots, I think. One more to go. Done. Path is clear. Okay. I'm on my way back, buddy. That's my hope. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havgan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. What is going on here? That can't be good. Not at all. If we need to help out, I shall help out. They have my weapon for sure. Man, what a beautiful view. We finally made it, everyone. Ha-ha. <laughs> Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot. 
Lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a young. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. We can do that all together. Okay, it is time to dock. Let's enjoy our time here together, everyone. We have a story to unfold. All right. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor, on me. this a mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways you there give us your name I am Sigurd Jar of Fornberg and you are men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp you'd best move along pagan spare yourselves a slaughter you threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Buckrout, and draw your weapon. Oh, you're all very, very dumb. Okay. There's my beginning, pal. Yeah, I think so. That's what I'm here for. Let's kill them all. Yeah. Oh, that's really exciting. Hey, pal, where are you going? Because I'm not going to let you leave. Oh, good strike, by the way. Very good strike. But now he's dead. Let's get closer again. I'm not done. Many more have died, but we're not done. I mean, what a good way to stretch out, you know? Just by doing what we're doing now. I hit another guy. Oh, very, very dirty. Hold on, we're not done. I know I'm not done. Alright, we'll use it again. It's a great ability. <laughs> there we go. Hey, you leave him alone. That's my buddy. Alright, hold on. We've only got a few more. It's all bandits, huh? Things are very grim then. Oh, he's all alone. Now he's dead. You. I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Yeah, let's do that. So we need to find them all. Man. I didn't realize they would have so many men. Hold on. Before I go over there, let's go over here. Anyone inside? Huh. Not bad. That's a pretty nice tent. Anyway, let's go over to the longhouse. I've not fought for a little bit. Now, who might be in here? There's got to be a few survivors. Anyone home? Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did. Till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? I sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? 
What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Hornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. What a good I beginning. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. I love it here. It's great. <laughs> Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm, I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plans, old papers. A few runestone messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. Okay. Well, they have a lot to plan. And we're here. He wasn't kidding. What a wonderful longhouse. Alright, hold on. I leveled up again. I've got to use what I have. I'm not going to upgrade my current gear because, again, I want to see if we're going to get new gear in time. Alright, so I want a special ability right over here. Emergency aim. I love that. So... Let's get more ranged damage or health. I like it. And let's have a look at my quest. Okay, let's go talk to him. There you are. 
I wonder what he's going to need not early on. Day, Saver. Not at all. No, not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. I can do that. I've got some new intel. Oh, they're gonna lose a lot. Especially when I'm there. Now let's have a look. Alright, so I've gotta go over there and we can see how large the area is. My god. There's a lot for me to look at and a lot of locations for me to go towards. Let's see, undiscovered location. Later we'll go back over there to raid and I would probably like to sync up later to find out more information. Wow. <laughs> We're going to be here for a bit. Anyway, let's go get over to my ship now. My boat. Monastery raids. Raiding heavily guarded locations is the best way to find wealth chests containing supplies and raw materials. Okay. Let's go. And listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs. The Saxons know we are here, Doc. The monasteries will be well guarded. Sail out! By nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. No, they are going to defend it. But what use is a bunch of wealth inside of a church? We could use it much more to help improve lives instead. All right, so we are getting closer. Then we're going to begin our major attack. And I could go in myself and clear things out, but we'll do it together. We should do it together. We've made it. All of you, you might want to leave right now if you want to keep your heads. We can continue later. Sail down. All right. Look there. A monster. Let's go, a king. Now, here's where we've got our proper attack. I wonder how many guards we're going to have here. I have no idea. But it doesn't really matter either. They'll probably lock up inside of the monastery. Oh, I do see a few of them. I'll only focus on the guards for now. Let's go. Ho oh, ho, he's gone. Alright, number two. So far, they're not preventing anyone from being able to, uh, you know, get struck down by our mini warriors. That's a good start for me. We nearly got him too. Hold on. Eat some throwing axes. All right. And I want to break through your guard. Easy enough. What else do we have? Ooh, that was a heavy hammer attack. That was a good start, but we're not done yet. Let's go inside. I'm curious as to what they have. Oh, hi there. Yeah, you may go. I'm not here to kill you. Hey, come here a moment. Holy crap. I even need help to lift it up. That's crazy. That is all we need for Gunner. But if there's more, we should claim it. Yeah, we should. I'm supposing they're going to be looting a little bit too. I hope they are. They should be. All right. I'm not done looking around. Not yet. A few mushrooms. I'm in. I feel great. I do feel great. Okay, what's in here? A little bit of silver. Not much. Yeah, that wasn't great. Oh, hold on. We've got more enemies to fight. 
He's all alone. Let's go help him out. Hey. You leave him alone. Good attack so far. Oh, they have a more powerful warrior. Very well. Hold on. I'm backing up. Now I'm ready. Broke his guard. I'm going to break right through that shield. Got a pretty good shield at that. My stamina is pretty high. Good. Ooh. I just had to be relentless, really. No. You don't get to try that today, pal. I love that ability so much. It's devastating and also just very cool to look at. That heavy hammer. It knows how to hurt. <laughs> that guy can't even hit me. Now, I'm out of stamina, but I'm not done killing. All right, hold on. Now I'm ready. It was only one attack, but it was a good way to weaken him anyway. All right, that's done. Sorry, your fate is not in my hands right now. Oh, there's people inside. Okay. It's a fairly large location. I mean, naturally, they wouldn't be able to live here alone. They would need people to actually help them farm and do other things. There we go. Give me a hand! Hello there! <laughs> okay, time for my special attack. I thought you were all dead already. I'm glad you're not. Nope. He's gone. Alright, we have some more major loot to pick up. Oh, pardon me, lady. Get out of my way. Thank you. Hey, come here! Come on now, Dag. You just need to lift, my friend. Right. Let's get back to the ship. It's all done already? Huh. Rating is great. Now, how long would it have taken all of us to get that many supplies on our own? A very long time. Rating is clearly much more effective. It's what we've got to do. What's going on? Oh, well, if you need help. I mean, we've already been in here. But I'm actually glad I came back in. Let's see. I could always come back here, or I could spend some time just looking around. We've got a few mysteries close by. That's true. But I'm not going to go for those mysteries just yet. We'll come back later. Right now, I'm trying to focus on the raiding. That's really what I want to focus on. So we're going back all the way back home. I wonder, can I just, like, fast travel back home? I suppose I can. Yeah. Let's do it. Now that we're back home, let's go deliver the good news. And goods, too. Here we go. Back so soon. And we good news, I hope. I think we have all we need. Okay, let's see. Build. It is time. We do work quickly, my god. Ah, this is wonderful. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. That's what true. what can I do for you on this fine day? Okay, let's have a look over here. Building the settlement. Gain access to unique services, settlers, quests, and more by constructing buildings in my village. To construct a new building, right, I need supplies and raw materials. As we grow, it'll gain renown and unlock new building opportunities. I love that. That's really cool. All right. Now we can go talk to Sigurd. It's probably going to be over here in the longhouse. I've got so much to upgrade, too. If you tell me that I've got to raid to build up my own home, I'm all in for it. That's all I want to do now. Okay, my friend. Hey, boys. In here. Yeah, sure. What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together as ever. 
So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. You're kidding me. That's my brother, man. I love it here. Okay, let's have a look now. Behold, our new encampment, born from a soot heap left behind by the sons of Ragnar. It may look a bit shabby now, but with some effort, we will soon be a beacon of trade and culture. Wow, so we can build a lot. Alright, so you would like for me to build the Hidden Ones Bureau. That's true. Thank you, Ron V. She's very intelligent. Alright, let's go over here now. A letterbox for messages and requests. Okay, so people will write to me over there. Let's have a look. Yeah, here's one letter. Okay, Eivor. I hope this room fits your needs as we grow our reputation in this land and make new friends and allies. It will be important to keep constant communication with them. Ronavi will drop any letter you receive into this box. Okay. Thank you. And I've got my bed. My lovely, lovely bed. A bed better than many I've slept in. And a good place to recover. Hmm. Not much. But it is mine. Not much. Man, we've got so much. I'm going to bed, I think. It's about time. It's been a long trip. I did some hard raiding. And I need a good nap. I'll meet with him later. <laughs> and he's out just like that. Well, we've got some very auspicious beginnings here. And a lot to get done. Yeah, that was my good night's sleep. Which means we just need to set forth and do some more conquering. Which is what we're going to do later. Thank you for watching, everyone. Once we're back, we'll keep on forging on. And until then...